Hi rehabbers and revivers. Welcome to another episode. I'm Dr. Lin of Rehab and Revive, and we wanted to talk a little bit about your foot, and the midfoot especially. Midfoot contains our arch, that's important. Uh, and a lot of times, this poor guy, the plantar fascia, gets a beating when the midfoot is inflexible. So how do you create flexibility? That's what we're gonna show next. What we need to do is we actually actually gonna use something a little bit more tender and a little bit more hard. We have to use our body weight. We're gonna push our heel, our opposite leg heel, onto these cuneiform bones uh, that line up our arch. We wanna create pliability. We want things to splay, uh, as we would say. Uh, splaying allows it to shock absorb and then and then when we, the splaying, uh, it basically creates more surface area and then allows for more of that pressure to be dispersed. So that's what we wanna do. We wanna create that with this exercise, this midfoot uh, mobilization exercise, and then we wanna help you improve your life. Now, is this for everyone? Not necessarily. So check with your, your, your physician and check with your practitioner. Uh, make sure this is the right exercise for you. But we're gonna get right to it next. So it's best to do this barefoot. You could use socks so you don't give yourself a rug burn, but I want, for all uh, intensive purposes, we wanna show you uh, on my foot. Uh, so we're gonna press right here with our heel. And you're gonna put some pressure downwards right through here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my knees. You can see that I'm kind of rocking back and forth and it's tender. If it's, if it's dysfunctional, it's gonna be tender. When it gets better and it gets more efficient and there's less pain so as it heals there should be less pain and then now you can see i do a little slalom motion to try to help pronation supination which is opening up and then pushing down um, so we're really trying to let this kind of move at the bottom foot while this one just stays firm my top foot stays firm pushes down now if you want to get the other side you can quickly move over and do it this way and the same action for the bottom foot. You can go forward and backwards. You can go side to side, like a little slalom. And those should free up. They should be really flexible and non-tender. If you're doing it correctly, it should be non-tender. So once again, we're gonna push here and through here. And my left side, no pain at all, pretty flexible. I can actually put quite a bit of my own body weight without any tenderness. So I've gotta work a little bit more on my, my right side. So this is gonna help increase the splaying, the flexibility of it, and really reduce the load on your poor plantar fascia. Isn't that a painful exercise? But it gets results. And so I def definitely temper you to try it uh, as well. And the whole goal really is to make it more flexible in that midfoot and help the splaying part to shock absorb every time your foot hits the ground. So if you like what we're doing, please leave a like subscribe below and leave any comments. And if you have any questions, you can also email us at rehabandrevivemedia at gmail.com. I'm Dr. Lin of Rehab and Revive. Remember, we can and we will get better together.